Welcome back to Fashion and Fun. In today's video, we will be working on two Easter baskets that I will be doing as a giveaway for our businesses. We do photography and bouncer rentals. And so we will be doing a giveaway of a one free rental for a bouncer and one free photography session and two Easter baskets and also a mini piñata. I'll start by showing you guys these little piñatas. I do make these myself and I sell them. And in this occasion, I will be giving it away on our business giveaway. It is a 18 inch tall piñata. It's about 3 to 4 inches wide right here on the depth. Um, I'm not sure on um, how wide it is right here, but it's just a mini one. My regular size are like medium sizes, which is two and a half feet tall. So I'll show you guys for the Easter baskets that I will be making. I still don't know exactly what I'm making, but I did bring two different sizes of Easter baskets just so that um, I could work through it. And then if I think it's going to be too small, then I could go ahead and do the bigger one instead. But... I did shop around at Hobby Lobby and the dollar store for most of these items. So the ones that have the pricing here on top are from Hobby Lobby. And the rest is from dollar store, Dollar Tree. I did bring materials over just to work my basket because I might be needing all these items. I did also um, purchase a board at the Dollar Tree and it's a foam board just to place it on the back and there I could attach some of the gifts and I also brought some foam to make my items up higher on the basket and on the baskets I will be dividing these things so um, I am doing two baskets so I will be saving the rest for Miguel's and Sofia's basket I'm going to go ahead and um, do the smaller ones and so with my smaller foam I went ahead and placed it inside I don't think it's stained, but um, we'll just squish it in there to see if it stays in place. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to grab my Easter dress and place it in here. I am just going to dump all of it in there. I think I am going to go grab my hot glue and glue this onto there just so it could stay in place i will be using this cutting mat i usually use this one for my hair bows that i make and i will be cutting the foam board i have my ruler and a stanley knife that i will be using a blade and um i'm not exactly sure how i will be cutting it but i think i kind of want to do like a rectangle and a little like stand right here so I'll show you guys once I cut this out I actually had these pieces of foam left over from another craft so what I will be doing is I'm going to be hot gluing one side like one piece onto each board that I cut 
and my main thing that I want to do is like kind of like stick it in there so it will be kind of like this like a little bore right there while my glue gun is warming up I will be filling in the eggs with the treats that I purchased Krabby Patties you guys can never go wrong with these my kids just love those we get them for christmas for valentine's they had some they have some for easter for valentine's they were in shape of hearts actually i also got these little um bunny money um and for the rest of the eggs, I still have like little prices that I had from Miguel's um, party because his birthday is in April. And so usually um, Easter is around that date. So I had these leftover items and these were from Oriental Trading. We have little erasers, Easter erasers. A little maze on both baskets they each get nine pieces of candies um, seven erasers around it's like around ten stickers and one little maze each of course on the pink basket I am going to try to put more like girl colors and for this basket I'm avoiding the girl colors more like boyish just so they can have an option um to girl to boy the same thing with the with the peeps this one will have pink and this one will have blue and same with the little toys and stuff this is kind of how it looks once i'm placing it in there my foam board already has um, hot glue because it kept moving now I will be placing the grass Easter grass on this one and the board on this one for these sets I'm actually only going to open and only include one of these I will be leaving one of each for my kids but I am going to include them each the little um, paint and the little brush and I will be doing that also with these I will be included including two wooden eggs on each basket and the rest I have for my niece and Miguel and Sophia the eggs I am just going to put them around here I might um, move them around a little. I mean, the pink one doesn't really have many colors to it. So I'm not sure exactly how to place them, but there is a little more color to the yellow one. Now I'm starting to work my way up, adding all these little things in bags around it. Okay, and this is how it looks. I don't think I will be um, wrapping them right now because for some reason I cannot find my pa my bags where you wrap these baskets. So I will have to find them or either go purchase new ones because for some reason they're not in here. But that's how they look. They will be wrapped like a regular... Um, Easter basket that you see in the stores and just in case you guys would like to get some ideas um, you guys can go ahead and go to your local Hobby Lobby and dollar store and find all these items maybe <laughs> if you go soon enough because um, they do tend to run out and obviously you guys can put different items on your baskets. This is just an idea of how we did the ones for the giveaway. I will be back um, 
in a few days to show you guys how I do Miguel's and Sofia's and my niece's. And I will also be doing little um, treats bag bags for Miguel's classmates. Okay, so hope you guys like this. If you guys like this video, um, make sure to do a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.